Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. In this online session of Browser Stack Cloud Automation and uh, the manual testing process, we have already learned uh, the introduction part of Browser Stack Cloud, uh, how we can uh, test automation part and how we can test the manual testing part, and all those things we have uh, already learned in the introduction part, uh, first lecture of uh, Browser Stack Cloud Automation series. And uh, in the second session, we have already learned how to run our silence on Browser Stack Cloud. Okay. Uh, we have run our Zillion script on Windows uh, 10 operating system and Chrome browser. Uh, so guys, if you have not watched these previous two sessions, you, I'll request you to watch these previous two sessions and then come to this third part where we, we can run how to run our Zillion script to launch browsers in device. Okay, so run our uh, like uh, any web applications or uh, like uh, any website you are on the device browsers like Chrome or Firefox or Safari and all those uh, things we have to run. Okay, I'll give you the one demo where we have launched a Chrome browser in one particular device from browser stack, okay? I have already explained in the APM series how to launch Chrome browser in emulator, but this is the uh, this session is completely uh, related to the browser stack cloud. So we will run our, run our script on the browser stack cloud itself, okay? We will launch one device on browser stack and we will launch one browser like a Chrome on the that particular device and uh, where we would, uh, Open one website URL or, 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 or simply or we'll, we can run uh, google.com or anything. Okay. So this is the very tricky part while working with the real time concept because many times in the organization we require to run our uh, websites on uh, mul multiple browsers, uh, device browsers as well. Okay. Because client requirement is that we, we have to run our, uh, our website on the browser URLs as well and app you, uh, in the app as well and the desktop browsers as well. So let's try to learn how to launch our website or how to launch our uh, any web URL on the device browser, okay? So without wasting time, let's go to the Eclipse and uh, I'll create a one class in this previous session uh, itself. So in previous session, we have launched uh, google.com in Windows, uh, Windows operating system and Windows 10 version and in the Chrome browser, which is version is 80. Okay, we have searched something like about Autumn Lab on, in google.com and uh, we have done this practically in the previous session. So I'll just create a one new class here. So I'll give the class name as device browsers. Okay, and in this class, uh, we have already explained how to set up this. Okay, so public username and uh, uh, URLs on browser stack and how to set this up and all those things. So in the previous session, so I'm not going to explain it again and again. So guys, watch this uh, second section. So you will get idea of how to set up this uh, username and password and everything. Okay. So we have dummy account on browser stack. Let's open browser stack in the Chrome browser. So I'll open browser stack.com in the Chrome browser. Okay. Let's go to the uh, dashboard. Okay. Okay, we have already logged in uh, in the previous session. So with the dummy account, let's go to the uh, dashboard session. Okay, we have a pre-trial with 100 minutes free. Uh, 90 minutes is remaining on that pre-trial. Okay, and uh, this, so this is the dashboard of uh, our pre-trial browser stack uh, where we have created one user account. And uh, uh, we have set up this. Okay, so uh, previously we have run our uh, Selenium script using the main method of Java and uh, all those things, right? So in this session, let's try to create a little uh, professional manner with using testing as well. So I'll create one method here, public uh, void setup. People don't know how to work with testing. So we have testing series in uh, uh, Bahu Automation Lab as well. So just go to the uh, Bahu Automation Lab on website okay and uh, anyway when you go to the Bravo automation lab website so go to the playlist session uh, play, in playlist se section we have test engine series total test engine series where we have already explained how to work with the test engine how to deal with the test engine so watch this playlist if you don't know how to uh, work with test engine so this is one so where we are we can give annotations like test engine before First. Okay, and before test, what we need to do? So we need to do uh, just import this before test, and we need to do the setup. Okay, so setup. What type of setup we need to do? So we require to launch our website on the mobile browsers on uh, browser stack, right? Browser stack cloud. 
so we require to set up some desired capabilities here so i'll set up some desired capabilities like desired capabilities desired capabilities caps is equal to new desired capabilities okay and with the help of this caps now we can set up like a, a capabilities set capabilities capability so capability name is always defined like a mobile capabilities okay mobile capability type type dot we require to set up first of all device name on which device we require to run our uh, script okay so uh, just give the name here like uh, i'll want to run on google excel this is the freeware uh, device which is available uh, well if you have a free license of browser stack okay so i'll set up here google pixel 3 and then again we require to set one more capability set capabilities and uh, here we can you name like a mobile capability type dot we require to set up browser name so we'll define a browser name as like browser name should be defined like this mobile browser mobile browser type dot chrome we are running for a demo purpose on chrome okay then we require to set up one more capability like caps dot set capability okay and we give the name as a build so build name is okay it's very case sensitive guys uh, just type like the same way uh, as i am typing okay so chrome browser script okay this is the chrome browser script and then set up caps dot one more capability like set capabilities okay and the capability name is we require to give the name of your uh, running script and uh, we give name as run in device okay so this is our script name okay and then let's set up one more capability like okay so i think that's enough desired capabilities like device name browser and build name and uh, name of our script okay then let uh, set up the driver here so i will give the name as like a okay i'll define a driver here with driver driver okay and then just import this web driver here and just give given here name as a driver dot uh, driver is equal to we require to set up a remote device here driver is equal to new remote web driver okay and just give us a new url and in this url just pass url url which is we have defined in just and just caps just pass the capabilities object okay capabilities and just import this URL. Okay, so we need to throw some declarations and we require to import this URL. Okay. I don't want to show type like this here. So just remove it from here and import it. Yeah, okay you are okay so this is how we can set up a remote drive web driver so how how we, it's uh, remote web driver is set up so driver which is we have defined here web driver and this is an is equal to new uh, remote web driver object and uh, this is new where we have already set up this url as in this is uh, this final string okay which is http yes username uh, automate uh, automate key and this is the url uh, to connect to our cloud browser stack cloud so we just pass this url um, if you not to create like this we require to pass this entire um, entire string in this uh, url session but this is the good idea to uh, store it in one string url and then just pass it here okay so this is how we can connect with the browser stack uh, cloud and after that we require to 
launch a Chrome browser in this particular device through this setting, this uh, desired capabilities. Okay, so this is before test, we require to set up some capability. Okay, so we have used here before test annotation. Now let's uh, create one test here public void. Launch. Launch Chrome device. So this is one test. I'll give the name as at the rate test annotation with at the rate test annotation. Just import this test from test engine annotation and just type a test here. So what we have to do after Chrome browser launch? So we require to get some URL. Driver dot get. You can type your uh, your website URL here, whatever you want to test. Just I'll for dummy purpose, I'll just uh, type uh, uh, like uh, HTTP. Yes, tool and double slash. Just I'll for testing purpose, I'll just open google.com. Remaining code is same uh, as we have used in uh, working with Selenium, right? So I'll just uh, maximize the window. Uh, so it's not required here and uh, we'll search for Q again and just send key. So I'll, what we can do, so driver dot find element by dot name and just type here name. And we know the search box name is as Q. So we'll store this element in one variable with element written type of it. this variable is wave element search search is equal to okay, we require to uh, import this wave element from selenium and just do the same comma here okay, and with this search we can uh, do the actions on this element so let's work with search dot like send keys Okay, send keys. Uh, let's say search, search automation lab. Okay, let's search by automation lab in the Google. Uh, before that, let's print this title uh, whenever we launch the Google. So let's like type like driver dot get title meter. So we can get the title of google.com. And after that, when search uh, by automation lab again, let's take a, another title so that we can check whether we are successfully get the title or not search dot let's say submit so that it will search uh, above automation lab on google.com and uh, let's take another title system dot out dot print and let's say driver dot get title and let's type another one more another annotation here like the uh, uh, public wide wide let's say tear down okay, and let's give annotations like uh, after trust okay, so this is the test and uh, before test we have done setup and after test let's say driver dot it i have already explained that without Dive dot quit. The session will be not stopped. It will search for other elements. So it's compulsory to give dive dot quit. Okay. If you require uh, any synchronizations, yes, like time yeah. management and all those things, you can manage as per your requirement or your website. I'll just showing it for demo purpose to understanding how to run our Selenium or uh, APM script on browser stack and uh, device and uh, any particular browser. Okay. So as per the your requirement you can change the website and test it on browser stack uh, cloud you can manage do the synchronization here like use implicit explicit wait whatever you want okay and i'm not using it here because this is the small script okay the purpose here is to understand how to deliver a Selenium script on device browser okay so i'll just run this script on cloud and let's see whether we are able to launch our chrome browser on device or not and um, whether we are able to search by automation lab on the one particular device on browser stack cloud or not. So this is the previous session. It should be session should be start here after uh, launching the device. Let's see. Okay. Just refresh the browser stack uh, dashboard URL. So it will see 
if any session is running here, go to the Chrome browser section. Okay, once script is running here. Okay, let's see which one. Okay, now it's running in Chrome browser script. Okay, which is we just given the name Chrome browser script and run Chrome browser in device. This is our script name, right? Okay, so this is launching successfully. Google.com is printed and Bob Automation Lab is uh, the next title is printed here, right? So, how session is running here? Let's see uh, that this is your device name and everything. And uh, let's go to the session. So, it will everything is explained here like a name of the script run Chrome in device, browser name, which browser we are running, and uh, the build name Chrome browser script, and the device name, which device we are running, and everything. Okay, so and uh, the video is created here uh, so whatever video you want to uh, if you want to uh, share with your uh, seniors you can easily do that if any bug is occurred here okay like um, uh, just run this video so see the output actually how your script is executed on browser stack cloud okay so it's first of all is launch chrome browser and uh, search for launch google.com and search for more automation lab perfectly okay and after that it will close so you can speed uh, your test uh, video speed increase by decrease by using this tab where you can if you want to download that video you can download it if any bug is occurring on this particular script you can simply copy this link from here okay and uh, open it here so it could be uh, directly redirected to that video section page and uh, every all the details are here like then which browser is it's running which device is used and everything okay so you can easily share this uh, URL to your seniors and uh, or any developers if you want to report some bug on the uh, on your uh, particular bug tracking tool. Okay. So this is how we can run our uh, script on uh, mobile browsers using Browser Stack Cloud. Now just try to uh, learn uh, how to inspect mobile uh, elements or mobile device. Chrome in uh, elements in inspector, okay, Chrome inspector. So I'll just open simply uh, Chrome browser and type here google.com. Like we have simply search uh, for above automation lab in search box, right? So simply space functional and F12 in on your keyboard and uh, you can redirect to the, this mobile view. Just simply refresh this page so can it will open in google.com open in a mobile view. Simply inspect like the same as the selenium. We can see here the all element will quite here. Like okay, simply you can copy the X path and everything from here as well. We can use a crow path as well if, if you have extended added uh, any extension added here, here, or simply get the name as a queue and whatever you want to really simply create X path here uh, from this in uh, tag tags HTML tags. So this is how we can inspect the element on this uh, uh, inspect the element on Chrome uh, browser in mobile view. Okay. So that uh, what we have learned in this uh, sessions. So we have simply uh, set up uh, set up our desired capabilities to run, to launch our uh, Chrome browser in uh, this particular device, Google Pixel on Browser Stack Cloud. We have simply set up one test where we have inspect the element with the name of Q and simply get the title, search for Bob Automation Lab and sub submit that search and again get the title. And after in the last we have quite uh, divert. Uh, just be with the driver so simply create one dummy account on for your uh, for your uh, learning purpose on browser stack and uh, do this code stuff and you can easily understand how to run your uh, how to run your uh, website on mobile browsers okay if you guys any query related to this uh, session you can simply comment out me i'll give the answer uh, of all your questions okay uh, practice by USA to uh, run this script on different different browser on different different devices. Okay, let's try to understand the practical concept. Okay, in next lesson, uh, we'll try to learn how to run your APM script on to launch our browser stack cloud device and inspect the mobile elements uh, app elements in browser stack inspector APM inspector using browser stack. So this is a very important uh, tutorial and very interesting as well, guys. So don't forget to watch the next lecture as well. Uh, Till time, don't forget to like and subscribe our uh, automation app. Also, share to your colleagues so they can learn the practical concept of automation. Okay. So, let's meet in next chapter. Till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.